Hey guys, Pat Tivoli here teaming up today with Griffith College to share five ideas around increasing your focus in study time. The first big idea we need to think about is focusing on pleasure rather than pain. And what I mean by that is that oftentimes when we've got work to do, we've got a project to complete, we've got time to invest into something, it's very easy to come up against resistance which can show up as procrastination or fear or overwhelm because we're thinking about the work that has to be done and seeing it as a painful thing rather than thinking about the pleasurable result that we're going to get from it, be it a job in the future, be it a great result, be it financial gain. So think about the result that you're trying to get and not just the work that you've got to do. Second tip for increasing your focus is to think about lowering your expectations and setting realistic goals. That might sound like a funny one to put in here, but oftentimes we set the bar so high for ourselves that it's overwhelming and we don't even want to get started. So by creating realistic goals, we break it down into smaller chunks. And by accomplishing those smaller chunks, it allows us to focus on the task at hand, build confidence, and in time, build momentum. Third tip for increasing focus is that less is more. Oftentimes we'll set out a long study schedule and sit down for hours at a time thinking that we're gonna produce big results, but to a certain extent there's a law of diminishing returns and we start to lose our focus. If you think about a browser on your computer with 10 tabs open focused on 10 different things, the computer slows down more and more and more. Just having the one browser and the one tab is gonna help us produce on a fast level in the same way that having a singular focus and a short, uh, intense focus on what we're doing is gonna produce bigger results. So productivity is time Time invested multiplied by your intensity of focus. Fourth tip for increasing your focus around study is to step away from the books and into nature. So some of the greatest thinkers of all time and some of the greatest thinkers of our generation credit their daily walks with being something that opened up new possibilities for them. You think about times maybe where you've had a problem or a task or something you're trying to solve and the more you stare at it, the less sense it makes. And then you go for a walk or you have a sleep on it or even get in the shower and just take a break from it and the idea just comes to you when you're in that more relaxed state. So step into nature, relax and open up new possibilities. And my fifth and final tip for increasing focus around study is to factor in recovery time. I often compare this to athletes. If you think about someone who's performing on a very high level in sport, they've got to equally allow time for recovery. Recovery actually becomes more important than the sport itself. So if someone's lifting heavy weights in the gym and they don't give themselves time to recover, the body's pretty quickly going to break down. In the same way, if we're trying to work on assignments, if we're trying to retain more and more information in a more stressed environment, as we take on more and more stress, we become less relaxed, we can retain less, and it becomes an issue. So active recovery is very important. Focusing on sleep, taking time for the people and the things that matter the most to you outside of your study, you're gonna come back feeling fresh and ready to take on more. So those are my couple of tips for increasing your focus around study. Again, think about that browser with lots of tabs open and the more tabs that become open, the slower the machine gets and the less it achieves. Same for ourselves, if we can really narrow the focus, narrow the focus, narrow the focus, it means we can spend less time doing certain tasks, but achieve a lot more.